So my first week in Ghana, that was somewhere in November, I was met with the disco light syndrome. Doom song, doom song. So I decided to write a poem called Electricity in My City. And I'll perform it for you tonight, if it's okay with you. Yes, perform it. Ghana we did, Ghana we did. I wrote this poem in the dark after traveling six hours in the sky on a metal bird with the bright lights from the stars exposing the breadcrumbs in my overgrown beard, he spoke in the microphone and said, we are landing. And mind the weather, it's 27 degrees outside. This is not London. So buy yourself a lantern from the nearest market and maybe a fan but not the electric, by the acoustic. I'm like, come on, man, let's be realistic. He's like, for real, man, you will need it. A cry can make you cry. Enjoy your stay. Goodbye. I took my first step outside the belly of the giant metal bird. I looked over my shoulders and saw a familiar face. I could feel the wetness on my ears. Is it rain? Is it tears? Or is it God answering my prayers after all these years? No. It's Uncle Yufifu. He gave me the warmest embrace ever. He said he had just arrived from a show, a suburb of Akosombo. He took me around the city for sightseeing, but the thick darkness hovering over the land had captured my sight so I couldn't see. A few kilometers into our walk, a few minutes of sweet talk, and Uncle Yufifu was all over me, touching me everywhere. This made me so uncomfortable, I ended up taking off my shirt voluntarily. How ironic. Exposing my iconic pot belly. All in the name of trying to get Uncle and Fifu off my back before I dive into an asthma attack. When we finally got home, there were a lot of fans waiting to see me. Some hanging on the ceiling, others sitting on the coffee table, but none of them waved at me. Neither did any of them spin for joy, so after staring in their faces for about an hour with just me doing all the talking, I ran out of breath and fainted. However, none of them was able to give me air because they didn't have the power. Uncle Telly's vision was also impaired, so he too could not show me pictures after I recovered. They had all been infected by the deadly Dumsoriosis virus. They envied the candles, the lanterns and the Simpsons because they were immune to the symptoms. My once beautiful city now lies plagued with useless wires. People walking around in crumpled attires. The poor man is always the one in the line of fire. Sleepless nights from the noise that comes out of the rich man's generator. Coughing as a result of the smoke it emits. The doctors are either late on the cure, but I'm not sure if they want to share. They say the waters run out, but every day we eat fresh fish. Every day we cruise over the many waters of the land. So damn the damn! Use the sun! Cover our skins with solar panels. Carry us on the backs of windmills and let it burn and let it spin and let it burn and let it spin and let it burn and let it spin until we are all healed. And when we have achieved all of this, let's vaccinate ourselves in the coming generations and say no to generators.